Tom. At this point, it had been five years since Star Fox 64 came out, and we had had nothing else since then. Meanwhile, over at Rareware Studios, they were developing a game. A game about a fox going to a planet of dinosaurs. Nintendo saw this concept and were like, hey, we haven't made a Star Fox game in a while. Why don't we turn this game into a Star Fox game? And that is uh, probably how one of the most divisive games on the GameCube and in the Star Fox franchise came out. Though, I've seen what other people have said about games like Star Fox Command and Star Fox Zero. But, uh, we are now entering the adventure era of Star Fox. Where we don't really have the, the R-Wing or anything. We're going to be running around on a planet of dinosaurs and hoping to God that uh, we can accomplish our mission and beat this game. Welcome, my friends, to Star Fox Adventures. And in a twist... Okay, uh, I gave a note to my editor to be like, hey, the game is gonna forget that I put it in widescreen. And the game didn't forget that I put it in widescreen this time, so hey, neat! <laughs> Already off to a stellar start here. I'm kind of going into this with, uh, with um, not great expectations. I played a little bit of this, and I uh, didn't get very far. But starting off with the menu here, we can play in different languages. Subtitles on, or I, actually no, we can only get the subtitles on. Slippy has the most options on audio, where we just set the volumes and what kind of setup we have for, uh, for our, our uh, sound here. Stereo, mono, headphones, and uh, surround. And with Peppy over here, we've got some options. This is just generic options, like a rumble feature, where if you turn it on, it'll actually rumble a little bit. And whether or not to play in widescreen or normal. We are playing this in widescreen, so we're gonna do that. So now, let's start. There's already a file on here. It's at 0% because that was me trying to figure out how to, how to, you know, get the, get it to save my widescreen settings. So let's jump on into this. I love the Star Fox franchise. I want to beat every single, uh, every single, uh, thing in here. We're gonna go with, uh... Uh... Let's see... How about... Zhezh. Our file name will be Zhezh. Probably just the name in case you get yours mixed up with one of your friends. But, we're jumping into Star Fox Adventures. Let's go, it's Zhezh time! From the depths of space, a girl named Crystal searches for the truth of her parents' death. Finding herself within a lost corner of the Lilat system, she receives a distress call from a world known as Dinosaur Planet. I missed the rest of that. Mind, we're playing Skies of Arcadia. Sorry, guys. Starting off here, we're not playing as Fox, but rather as Crystal, and firing a firing energy blast out of a oh oh boy, out of a uh, out of a pterodactyl here. Hope they got to take down these uh, these guns. Ow! Learn to figure out where it all where where everything is here. Oh god. Take out the rudder! I don't know how you're supposed to dodge that, but I guess it doesn't matter because I'm not taking any damage here. I think the rest of that cutscene was like, uh... 
Crystal is kind uh, and wanted to check it out because she is she am kind. I think it's, it's probably impossible to lose this, to be perfectly honest. Mostly blind for uh, this part. That's uh, that's got a dinosaur head on it. They bioengineered their own ship. I guess it's the future. And here we play as a uh, probably a lot of people's awakening. Your adventure begins! Use the stick to move Crystal around the galleon. Press L to center the camera behind Crystal. If you listen carefully, you might be able to hear a voice. Try finding the source of that voice. So, very Zelda-esque controls in that regard. Uh, nobody seems to be at the helm here. Uh, I can't seem to climb over the railing. Unlike Zelda, though, when I'm when I'm uh, when I got the camera centered behind me and I'm strafing, I cannot jump. He's hurt. He's kind of rocking. Hello. When the A button appears, check the display. This will tell you what uh, A can do at that time. Talk. Pressing A, you are able to talk to me. By pressing A, you are able to talk to me. When A appears again, check the display as this button can do many different things. I, I guess that opened a door. Need to explore below deck. Scraw! Scraw. All right, hi. Oh, we got a key. Yes! We got a key! This is a key to the Krizoa Palace. When you pick up an item, it will be placed in uh, in your C inventory. Move the C stick in any direction to display your inventory. Then push C left or right to rotate the inventory. Each slot will hold the different types of ob will hold different types of objects. Uh, is there anything else in here? Dead end. Doesn't go anywhere. Back up to the top up top deck. I we go apparently. Hey, you got anything new for me? Okay, there we go. General Scales. Hiko, Kohud, or Taskuki, if dinosaur planet. Ud Neokraju, Ui Kimo Nekt. I'm dead, Kutsuho, Kevori Oi. I'm General Scales! <laughs> General Moro do Kemo Kia Chaj de Kelu Pushva Keo Yeso if Keo Tashkov Shadok Anito Av Kiash as Neo Keo Tashkov Shadok Ash Semat Vem Kia Gach Keo Kurso Apal. That thing didn't talk before. We are Tato Rolo Hosuvi. I think they didn't talk before and it just like screeched at us. 
Why did I wait until now? You've arrived at Crisola Palace. When you want to save your game, you must have a memory card inserted into slot A. Press the pause menu, uh, press, uh, start to pause the game and display the save and quit options menu. Highlight the required option by moving left or right and then pressing A to select. Don't forget you can save at any time. This is a fuel barrel generator. It has been uh, left here by General Scales, who used the fuel to power his Sharp Claw army. Each time you use a barrel, another will be generated by this location. Uh, I can't even like walk through. That's really weird. Oh, oh, those hurt. Whoa, no, 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 no. Okay, what do you got? The King Earthwalker sent us to protect Crizor Palace. It's not safe for you here. If you find yourself in danger, press X to roll out of the way. Oh, I can only roll forward. Oh God. Uh, oh, the key, right. Uh, I can press C to use a, an item for my C inventory. It'll automatically go to the correct slot, yada, yada, yada. That's that first fuel barrel, I suppose. Oh boy. Can I? Oh! Okay, I've gotta be standing still to throw. Ah, that does kill them, but it also does a ton of damage to me if I'm too close. Run, 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 run. Okay. There we go. Whew. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, this had a heart in it, I think. No, it had a... Go oh, hell yes! I got a nut! A Dumbledang pod! It's a delicious fruit found only on Dinosaur Planet. You'll find them in sharp claw uh, baskets and crates or hanging out in double dang trees. Even baddies will sometimes drop them. That heal me? Yes, it did. Okay, cool. Their, uh, their excitement for picking up these things will not be lost on me. What will be lost on me is me being unable to actually hit these barrels. There we go. Oh, hell yes! Oh my God, what do we got here? It's a Puck Puck Egg! A Sharp Claw Delicacy! Don't worry, they're not dinosaur eggs. They come from a huge Puck Puck birds that the Sharp Claw breed just for a tasty snack. Walk over to the egg and collect to recharge your, your energy. Apparently, oh, for frick's sake. Look at that Puck Puck. Okay, so these guys re re uh, re respawn, good lord. They re something. Regen, rebuild, reuse, reduce, recycle. There's a crack! Hello. General Scales and his sharp claw army attacked. We tried to stop them, but there were too many. To safely look around before you enter an area, press Z to see from head view. Oh yeah, okay, so like a first person mode. I, I can just like, t just like tumble as well. You should leave this place. Scales has brought a great evil into the palace. To be extra safe, sneak around the corners by holding down L and moving uh, the control stick in side sidestep mode. That sneaks? I don't think this is like Metal Gear, to be perfectly frank. What do we got here? Some sort of cask. Uh, that forced me to throw that. Did I hit geometry and it like threw it for me? I guess I just can't take it out of here. Hello. Scales attacked this place so that he could capture the Krizoa spirits for himself. The spirits hold great power and have been safe within this palace for a million years. We fought hard against the Sharp Claws and were able to hide the spirits throughout the planet. Scales then unleashed an evil into the palace. In their hurry to leave, the Sharp Claw sealed me inside. All right, you're a little close, so sorry, buddy. Ooh, that one, that was a freestanding one, huh? Ow! Ah! Can't carry these and take them that far. 
Or it seems like there are other areas that spawn the, uh, the barrels. Hopefully it's not too far to go back. There is the distinct possibility of fire, though, I'm noticing. It did get hot here, although it feels like a normal tex uh, normal normal day in Texas summer. I missed the crack! Gone, uh, I've gone full Super Mario 64, ah ha 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 mode. He says one ah and six ha's. That's how you know it's ah ha 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 mode. I'm surprised it required such a re uh, precise barrel throw. There we go. Hello. Uh, what do we got here? Oh. Oh wait, did, was that all I needed to do to open that? No, I gotta place something there in order to make that work. Which is probably this barrel. God, I hope there's a place option. Put down, there we go. This one looks like he's bathing in a golden glow. Keo Krisoa. Doot Uwe Kutsak. Keo Uhu Dootwo. Nos ak Uwe Keo Krot Keo Tashkuf Shaduk. Neo no no ho Ukusbat. I shall do cut for cuts hug. No, no, who? Mucha shot. Oh. Rick Neo Knoho, Uwe Tedwo Kutsoho. Kill King Earthwalker, shot itch game. Hekas Kiash, shoe shot for Suzo. Kutsimo Eve Kao Krizoa. Kao Krizoa, Oho Fuzo Fahaks. Fenovic road o keo grado kevo ke o kudak na ki keo fahaks e kudak as tu as kut so jemo ker at su te mo wak et ko kio fi ho if kut suk su kubo keo gash ut ko keo Krasoa Shrine! It's so Ajatu! Sev Kuko Kip Fahab's coach! Ut Unawak Ue Honut! Av Ue Jesut! Kiot Hokit Kemo! Am Dek Huitwo Utun Kotso! I feel like a lot of those camera angles were on purpose. The other thing, too, that I kind of notice is that the, uh... Oh, it's an elevator. All right, that's probably my way out, honestly. The other thing that, that I kind of noticed is, like, the proper nouns being in English kind of bugs me. You, but you build, like, this entire language. And I've even seen the word for planet on there, and, like, as spoken in, like, the in the dinosaur planet language. And yet, the phrase dinosaur planet... Dinosaur planet's a proper noun that has to be said dinosaur planet in this language. Anyway, stand in the center, press A to enter the shrine. That uh, that voice actor for that particular Earthwalker sounded like um the guy who played Bluey in Diddy Kong Racing. Just kind of make it a little bit deeper and a little bit sounding more like an old man. Cause he was kind of up like this. When Bluey sounds like this, well done. Anyway, here in the Krozoa Shrine, you found your way into a Krozoa Shrine, and within lies a Krozoa spirit. The spirits have been hidden as they hold great power. Power that, if in the wrong hands, could bring terror. But in the right hands, the spirits can bring peace. There are six spirits to find and return to Krozoa Palace. If you can find the spirit within the shrine and complete its test, then it will become yours. <laughs> Oh, we got another, uh, we got more fruits and whatnot. Oh my god, I wonder if this is one of those games where every time I turn it off and get one of the, and like, uh, get one of the, uh, the, the new items. Then it'll be like, uh, what is it? Ooh, slide. Slide. Oh, I, you can't stop mid-slide. Okay, that's just, you hit the button and you're just down. I thought you'd be able to stop that. Um. 
I lost my train of thought completely. Cause I'm still in a dream. Sneeder. <laughs> Made it. No issues here. Ow! At least it didn't knock me off. See, that's a good quality of life thing. Wow! This whole, like, spiritual experience must be some form of test that I need to throw a bomb at it. Ah! Well, color me surprised. It's actually probably locked by this thing. Whoa, okay! Maybe I can interact with it somehow. Is this gonna hurt? This is a life force door. The spirit floating on it, uh, on it tells you how many bad guys you must defeat before it'll- before it'll open. Bad guys. You come closer! Thank you! I wonder if, like, I wonder if, like, that tutorial is, is for every life force door where it's like, it checks where it's like, have you gotten this yet? No? Then you gotta do it. I killed it. I actually killed that thing. Huh. Oh, okay. I thought it was gonna be a temporary. Oh, it is a temporary one, but I got in. So it doesn't matter. I can go in the water and I can climb out. Okay. I don't seem to have any sort of jump function, though, which is a little uh, surprising to me. It's, uh, it's an engineer from Halo. Test one, the test of observation. Watch closely where I hide. When the urns stop moving, you must show me which urn I have hidden in. Find me three times in a row and I will be yours to return to Krozoa Palace. Is that one? I think these actually hurt you. Yeah, if you, if you run into them, they hurt you. Well, guys, I'm stumped. I have no idea. No, wait a minute. He jumped from that one to that one. That's not, that's not fair. Woo. Yeah. Ding dong. You can't jump from one to the other. That's cheating. Uh, I'm still watching the one that's like at the bottom left now. Oh, I'm so confused. Woo! This one. It's Zoldo! In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirits. Yeah! I'm God now! You collected the first Krozoa spirit. It'll remain in your body until you take it to the Krozoa Palace, where it must be released. <laughs> the look on her face was like, wait, I'm gonna have this thing in me for a while, aren't I? <laughs> Are I still purple? God, it really is like she's possessed. Guess what nerd I'm evil now? <laughs> the King Earthwalker sent us to protect Krozoa Palace. It's not safe for you here. If you find yourself in danger, pre oh, these oh, he, he just gave me the same tutorial. All right, let's let's go this way. I have a Krozoa spirit. She had a look at her face in that cutscene that reminded me of like the the uh, the Asuka pathetic meme from uh, from Evangelion. I'm gonna go for a swim in the water wall. Anyway, here's water wall. Uh. 
I seem to be suffering from a heart attack. Oh no, Jesus leaves me! No! The other set of footprints in the sand! Jesus beam! And in traditional Zelda, Legend of Zelda fashion, the uh, the damsel in distress is locked in a crystal. Maybe she really is the Messiah. <laughs> hey, we're gonna siphon off the energy that's in the crystal, i.e. you. Meanwhile, in the lost corner of the Lilat system, General, let's do it. Oh, the jukebox works again. So yeah, apparently like Star Fox has fallen on really like rough times here. Uh and Falco left. <laughs> takes place on Thorntail Hollow. Locate the queen of the Earthwalker tribe. She will help you further. Pepper out. All right, well, let's let's do it. Fly through one gold ring to reach Dinosaur Planet. I guess that's how they're going to teach me how to, how to uh, fly the R-Wing. Oh, this feels so good and it's in like none of the game. So if I'm not mistaken, I, the, the, uh, oh, there we go. So I just needed one gold ring, huh? I want to get that supply. Something that, shut up. Slippy, shut up. I had to fly through one. There might come a time where that's imperative that I don't miss these, but like for now, You gonna come in again, tell Slippy, and tell me I missed one? Uh, one thing to note about this as well is that these are the same voice actors that were in um, Melee. It did it, Fox! The force field is down. Safe you to land. Slippy out. So, uh, the I believe these are the same uh, voice actors that were in Melee's uh, like secret. Uh, what are the what are they called? 
When you're on Corneria and you like hit the hit the taunt button a bunch of times, they pop up. Save voice actors for that. As we enter the peaceful, idyllic land of Thorntail Hollow. Got giants. Ah, the peaceful area of the dinosaurs. Suddenly, a mammalian alien invasion! What the? He walks on two legs! Great flying, Fox! For a moment, I thought you weren't gonna make it. Very funny, sir. I know! Now, on to business! By pressing the start button, you will open your communicator. Choose who you wish to speak to, and then press the A button to contact one of us. Each team member will give you different information. It's not being tested in action, so give it a try as soon as I've finished. And don't forget, you're looking for the Queen Earthwalker. Try talking to those Thorntail guys. Slippy is preparing a translator device, but until it's ready, he'll translate for you. Okay, General. But what about a weapon? Why can't I bring my blaster? It's always the same with you, Fox. Shoot first, ask questions later. This mission is about saving the planet, not blowing it up. It requires a different tactic. Try using your head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny, sir. Fox out. I, uh, I've got some notes about, uh, about Slippy's head. Oh, yeah, no. Yep, I got notes about Slippy's head on this, uh, on this screen here. Ooh, that is, uh, oh, that's rough. Anyway, uh, I'm a thinking that, uh, that next time on Star Fox Adventures, we could- OH HELL YES! I got a scarab! The currency of Dinosaur Planet, and come in many different values. The more valuable the scarab, the harder it is to catch. So you find a scarab bag, you can't carry ten- you can only carry ten scarabs. Anyway, next time on, uh, on Star Fox Adventures, we're gonna be wandering around Thorntail Hollow, trying to get some information about the Earthwalker Queen. And, uh, yeah. So to end off, why don't we get some words of wisdom from Slippy? Hi, Fox, it's Slippy. Seems like you need some help. I was hoping there'd actually be dialogue for that. All right, never mind. See you all then. What do you got, you big galoot? See you all then, later. Can you stop loudly eating behind me? Come on, man.